Hello and welcome to another video from Digital Traffic Coffee Cup. Today, as you can probably tell by the sign behind me, we're at Stansted Airport, which must mean only one thing. We are going on our 400 pound, 400 subscriber, thank you so much guys, video of our trip around Europe. The only thing is, I don't know where I'm going. Well, I do, because I filmed this a couple of days ago. But here's the difference. Instead of it being paper based, it's actually on the PC, so I'm going to put this in. But first, off the list in front of you. Where do you think we're going? Back to Paul of two days ago when we filmed all of these. And I'll tell you something. This is gonna be good. Right, so clues for the first one. Uh, people of the distance, the Stone Age. That was a very long time ago. Uh, population at the end of March 2022. So that was two years ago. Stood at 980,260. Okay. The city is highly diverse with just over 331,000 people being of foreign background. Football club Bowden's BK. You see, that sounds... That sounds... Scandinavian. <laughs> Let's see where we end up, shall we? I was right! I was right, and I was right with, and I thought, hmm, bit Norwegian, bit Swedish. We're going to Stockholm again. Yes. Six thirty in the morning. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Woo. Yes. Six thirty in the morning. So that means I'm getting no sleep. Um, and I land at ten o'clock. Flying with Ryanair. Love that airline. I will be staying at the. The Jumbo Jet Hotel, which is going to get its own video all by itself. We're, st we're not in the cockpit. Costs too much money. We're in the wing. That's going to be even funnier. I need to keep my stuff around me because I'm not exactly <laughs> in a hotel, am I? Wow. And if you look above it, there's a bar and restaurant, so while everyone's trying to have a good time, I'm trying to sleep. Sweden! Yes! Buzzing over that one. Yup! Stockholm. Weren't we there last year? So, and the 747 video will be its own video by itself. I'm going to put today, as there's only one flight, and start on tom tomorrow's video in this one. So enjoy yourself because I think this is going to be one brilliant video. So that's us. Two security in a matter of minutes. And now we're, we're not going that way because I haven't got fast track. I'm not a match strap so I can't really pull that one off. <laughs> To have a little bit of controversy. <laughs> I think this is better than Manchester Airport. And I work at Manchester Airport, how bad is that? Um, it was quite funny being stood in the security queue when people get the bags rejected. Heard someone say, God, Manchester Airport is the worst. 
I can't do a southern accent, so I might try. And I'm thinking, are we? Are we really that bad? Well, just the whole experience of like security through here. Controversial, I know, but I prefer Stansted of Manchester Airport. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, no one from Manchester Airport watches this. <laughs> But, no, we live in hope. Now, into the food area. Well, these are all brilliant options. Burger King when it opens, Cafe Nero is open, Leon isn't open. But I'm sorry, when you're at Stansted Airport, personally, I only go one place. Because it's got great views of the runway when that part of it is open. I'm of course talking about the weather spoon, the windmill weather spoons. Funny to spoons at three o'clock in the morning. Don't I? <laughs> well, should be nice and quiet because the rest of the uh, cabin is. So we'll see what's going on in here. Three o'clock in the morning. Where the spoons. What can I have for dinner? What can I have for breakfast? Obviously, the biggest breakfast they do. I might eat the egg. <laughs> Free refills and cups of tea. So anyone from my strip or watches this after my controversial take before? Put a weather spoons in the new terminal too, please. <laughs> Everyone loves the spoons. I wonder if we'll get on that today. Yeah, remember the signs we saw before saying male toilets closed? This is down a, a passageway that I've not been ever. Uh, flight radar's telling me the, the flight's going to be 15 minutes delayed. Not the worst. Could have been worse. It's, it's about two hour flight over to Stockholm, so. Uh, I don't think we're down there. It's almost my way towards that end. Last time I came through here was November. I've got to say in November it was rammed. Today it's busy, but it's not that busy that I'm like, I can't, I don't have any space to breathe. Um, So, um, we'll see how we do. And here's Nick's. Hey. There's like a special train you can get from Arlander Airport to the centre of Stockholm called the Arlander Express. Here's how much a one way ticket is 
Yeah. But if you use a normal, if you're a normal person and you don't fancy paying that much, and you want to go on a commuter train, it costs this much. Yeah. I know which one I'm taking, the Orlando Express, I'm joking. <laughs> so I think when we get into Stockholm I might just... I don't know what, I don't know what to do, because I've never actually been. So I did it a couple of days ago, I've not really booked anything. But I know one thing I'll be filming, on a separate video, that's 747. I can't wait to say that tonight. And I've checked the booking confirmation. We're not in the cockpit, we're not actually in the fuselage. We're in one of the engines. So that is going to be an experience of the half. So I keep being announced. You know when I said we're not down there? I don't know what I'm talking about, because we are down there. Uh, gate 86. Shuttle. <laughs> Right now, ruining my day. Chucky. <laughs> we'll deal with it. So, 86 it is. Let's get rolling. Two hours from this point, but unfortunately, we don't have anywhere else to go after that, so. God dang it, stuck up. Now, there's a, there's a reason why I wore. Yeah. Because Scandinavia is known, especially this time of year, to be quite snowy. And I thought to myself, if I wear my trainers, my socks are going to be, well, wet all day. So I put boots on. The downside of boots on is, you have to take them off at every single security check. <laughs> but it's fine, we'll get through it. So, next time I'll see you, we'll be at the gate. Well, I've never been in the house to say it's but I've always found you creepy when I talk to you. And I've heard you've been looking at stuff online, so please, you see me at the station, both times I'll talk to you. And he wrote, he wrote online, well, and he called me creepy. He said, you could have just asked me nicely. I thought, actually, I think quite a lot. He said, you've chosen to fulfill that privilege, and therefore I will come and talk to you at the station. I thought, well, Here, and um, do you want to see where I'm sat? Yep, we're sat on the wings <laughs> at the emergency exit. There's one of the engines, and while we're here, let's do a seat review, shall we? So, card as normal, no table, <laughs> but brilliant leg room. Where's the table, you ask? It's in there. Higher. Um, obviously, I'll have to. Oh, all my stuff's in the overhead bin, so it's got to if I sit here, which is fine. Um, 
First time I'm sat on the emergency sort of a plane. I don't know if I should be scared about that or. Because <laughs> a few of the rows are just empty, so I just thought, I just had to suit that, so I went, Can I move here? They were like, Yeah. I was like, Cool. <laughs> I should have checked the fine print, shouldn't I? <laughs> we'll be alright. Uh, we're going to taxi out any time now. I think everyone's on the, on the plane that needs to be. Uh, the pilot's here. We've got a spare pilot as well. I saw him get on, so um, we should be all right, hopefully. Um, we're going to actually enjoy this leg room because I've got more leg room on this plane than I did on BA yesterday. Admittedly, I'm starting an emergency road. That kind of explains why, but you know. So I'll see you in the air. So I thought we've got to be moving by now. Sure, to goodness. Well, the plane's not fueled. It's been sat here since I got here this morning and it's not got any fuel in. So we're going to fuel it up and then we're going to go. Uh, so I think we're going to leave. I think that's one of the 15 minutes delay was because he had to de ice the plane. I didn't fall up the stairs. Don't know whether that's me. I mean, no one on this plane fell up the stairs. Must be a Manchester thing. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll have a nice relaxing trip up to Orlando Airport two hours he's saying so the winds must be favourable um, hopefully I'm sat on the right side because I don't know which side Stockholm's going to appear on I do know for takeoff we'll get, you're going to see the terminal out of this window so I think we'll be alright
boats on one side. That's so cool. If you did, don't forget to, to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for the video. I'm in the coffee. We'll see you for day two.